Well, Simplicity has snuck in some brand new patterns from New Look. You can see them right here under their new patterns. There's also some new Berta style patterns, so I'm gonna be coming with that first impression video soon. But let's check out what they have from New Look for us for spring. We're gonna skip over the kids' clothes because I do not review those. I don't make kids clothes, so I don't know how to accurately uh, review them. All right, but first up, we've got Mrs. Drape Top and Wide Leg Pants. So here's the top. It looks like it's got bias bound armhole and neckline, and then this extra piece that's draped over the front and tied into a little knot. It's a little mature looking of an outfit. The pants do fit her nicely though. Maybe those are crepe, I'm guessing. Here is a back view, so you've got a little keyhole. And then the back of the pants, I'm guessing they're elasticated. Oh, and there's also, I mean, the drawing is really pretty. It's just shapeless and really long. I guess, which is what makes it look kind of matronly. Oh no, the pants are like a full on waistband with a side zipper too. Maybe not a waistband, this might be a facing. And they're marking this as an easy pattern, which is interesting. Let's look at the line drawings. So yeah, we've got the three pleats here and then a little swoop. I don't know, if you made this shorter and gave yourself a little bit of shape, maybe it would be cute. Um, that's just, well, for me, it's just not my personal style. But yeah, the pants have a facing and then a side zipper and side seam pockets. Then the back has two darts, but the front is dartless. Here is the back pattern cover. Suggested fabrics are chalet, charmeuse, chiffon, cotton lawn, crepe, Crepe de chine, double georgettes, yeah, silky types, wall, all the lightweight, really drapey fabrics for the top. And then for the bottom, they're suggesting cotton blends, crepe, linen blends, stretch wovens. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, do finished garment measurements. Is that what this is? Bust and hip? Okay, I'm here for that. Cool, that's great. Um, and then your fabric requirements as well. Awesome. Comes in sizes 10 to 22, all in one package, which is nice. Wide legged pants with narrow waistband. So it is an actual waistband also. And side zipper fastening, sleeveless top is pull on with round neck. Uh, isn't I thought pull on men didn't have any closures, but it definitely has that keyhole in the back. Uh, with round neck, front shoulder tucks falling to front side waist tie. Easy to sew. All right. Next up, this is cute. They're calling this a relaxed fit jumpsuit with drawstring waist. I'm getting like pajama vibes and I'm perfectly fine with that, but this could be one of those, like, well, I don't know. Yeah, you could wear that out. But it also would make really cute pajamas, too. My concern for my body type is this is a very low waistband, and that just wouldn't be super flattering on me because that's, you know, getting to the wider part of my body. And then the slimmer part, which is up here somewhere, there's like no shaping at all. Maybe that's why I was getting pajama vibes because you know they are calling it relaxed. So like the low rise nature of the pant. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, easy enough to just raise the rise and shorten the, the bodice, but here it is with short sleeves. And then they also have, this is, must be the version she's wearing. It's actually a really neat, cute little concept that I actually quite like now that I am so into pant making. 
Um, it's really sweet. I'm trying to decide now if I had if I go through all this trouble to raise this up, is it really that different from a lot of the jumpsuits that I have already? Probably not. Not to mention, how do you get into this thing? Is there a zipper here? We'll have to look into that. Um, but if it's made from knits or something, I would totally wear that around the house and feel like I at least put on real clothes. So, okay, we've also got two pant lengths and then two different sleeves, sleeveless and then this little short sleeve. And yeah. All right, thread, bias tape, elastic, twill tape, and buttons. I guess because the waistband is elastic, they think you can just unbutton it and then pull it up like elastic pants would be. All right, that's not a terrible, terrible thing. And then finished bust and hip measurements. Again, super helpful to know which size to get. And then your fabric requirements, even for the longer version, you really, you mean less than three yards. So that's pretty good. I quite like this. All the sizes are in one. So if you needed to grade between sizes, that's really easy to do. Scoop neckline, front bodice fastening, and elasticated waist with front tie with or without short sleeves, cropped or full length leg. Oh, we didn't look at um, fabrics. Fabrics are chambray, chino, cotton types, lightweight denim, linen blends, poplin, stretch wovens. So yeah, it is for wovens. I like it. I think it's cute. Very summery. I just want to, I just need to make sure how it would, if it would be flattering on me or not. All right, now we've got some high-waisted flared pants in two lengths. Very fitted, it seems, through the uh, waist and hip and thigh, and then they flare out at the knee. And it's hard to tell with this stripe, but I think no waistbands. They have a facing, but they do have belt loops and little patch pockets. Let's look at the back. The back also has little itty bitty patch pockets. All right, I want to go back to the front one more time to see how, yeah, they're sitting, they're still sitting below her waist. I don't know that I would call that high waisted, but here's the front illustration so you also have a fly a front fly which geez they did an exceptional job on the um there is no way there is a fly there there is that is wild i can't zoom in anymore else i would show you but you can see how they overlap back there that's insane okay good for them and they're oh look you can add a little bit of lace that's interesting also, front darts, for sure, and we'll check out the back darts. This stripe is impossible to see any details, really. This must be the cropped length, which is sweet. And, yeah, single back darts as well. So, pretty traditional kind of pant here. Um... Fabric requirements, wow, under two yards for view B, which is the cropped length. And then you barely tick over two yards for the full length. Suggested fabrics are chalet, I mm, don't know about that. Chino, chintz, cotton types, damask, denim, gabardine, linen blends, PK, sateen, stretch wovens, and twill. All right. Okay, yeah. I don't know about linen. I don't like linen when it's super fitted because linen just stretches out so much that it will not be it will not look good an hour after you have it on. But and then finished garment measurements, you have your hip measurements here. So you can see how close fitted 
I want to say that jumpsuit was in like the mid 50s for a size 20 finished garment measurements and this one is only 45 so I technically wouldn't fit into these there that would be negative ease for me I think yeah yeah by a bit by a little bit but still so uh, and then all the sizes 8 to 20 are all in one slim fitting with small kick flare view a has pockets front and back and belt loops view b has back pockets and top stitch detail at waist and leg hem all right a little skirt that they are styling with sneakers that's a fun little look what did it say pleated skirt with or without front slit opening so you've got a little waistband i'm appreciating that i haven't seen any elastic waistbands other than that jumpsuit um, and then three little darts that open or pleats that open out and then you've got your little slit here this little fabric with the itty bitty flowers is so sweet in this um, pattern perfect combo and then I think they also have the pleated detail going on on the back too so that's fun This is a really sweet skirt. This is without the pleat, I mean without the slit, but I kind of like the slit. I think especially in the longer length. I don't know that I like it as long as she's got it. Uh, maybe up here with a little bit more of a thigh slit <laughs> would be better for me. But it is cute. So we've got without a slit, with a slit, and then your two back links. And yeah, the pleats are on. And is that does that mean side seam pocket? Just one of them? Maybe that's an error. We'll have to see in the description if it talks about pockets or not. Okay, Shally, Charmeuse, Cotton Types, Crepe, Duchesne, Double Georgette, Linen Blends, Poplin, Silky Types. Yeah, this is the kind of skirt, I mean, the longer one with the slit, I would do in lightweight uh, drapey fabrics. But the shorter one, you could do in the lightweight woven to midweight, you know, chambrays and poplin and linen blends and all that they're talking about here. And you just need one invisible zipper, finished garment measurements for the hip. Go up to 50 and a half. Which still seems kind of slim. Maybe, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I think New Look is the brand where the sizing is most similar to ready to wear. Not that I'm a 20 and ready to wear, I'm like a 12, but it, it definitely, they have a smaller, um, a smaller size range. Am I saying that right? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how normally in big four patterns, everyone's like size down one or two, um, depending on these measurements. I think new look is a lot more accurate up here. So anyways. So there you go. And then your fabric requirements. All right, let's see what says anything about pockets. Skirts with waistband, fasten at side, and has stitch pleats to one side front and side back. No mention of pockets, so. Which is fine. I don't like pockets in, you know, lightweight, close-fitting garments. Here we have a handkerchief hemmed top. This is cute. So it looks like probably bias bound, some kind of little band here for the neckline, three buttons. Hers doesn't fit super well, but, and then it looks like it's got this scooped empire waist, which is nice. And something is like, maybe like a go-day is sewn into the side here, which is really cute. Because it's still like flat across the front, but this, you know what I mean? 
especially with the stripe, that's really fun. The way they did the horizontal stripes here, vertical stripes here, and then on the bias for this thing. That's cool. That's cute. It's also tunic length, so, you know, that's nice for some things. Here it is in like a linen type. Cute. Here's her version. So yeah, it looks like sleeved or not. And then I can't tell if B is longer than A. It might be. Yes, B is longer than A. So goodness, B must be like mid thigh. I would shorten, I would make B, I would make the longer version exactly how A is and then shorten A to make it more of like a, you know, high hip length. Cute though. All right, batik, batiste, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, double gauze, gingham, knits, linen blends, shirtings, wool. Yeah, you just need to remember that the more structured your fabric is, the less drapey it is, the more this is going to flare away from the body and create more of like a tent shape. The lighter weight it is, the closer it'll all fall to the body and be less like a tent shape. Uh, and they only give finished bust measurements, which is fine. I'll take that because the hip really, I mean, I'm sure it's so wide with these go days sewn in. I wonder how hard those are to sew. And then fabric, look at this. Remember, I'm gonna take some length out, so I could probably get away with one and a quarter yards or something for the sleeveless version. Hmm, that's always enticing because I have like little one, one and a half cuts of fabric that I need to find something to do with, so. I like that a lot. And then yeah, bias tape for the arm side. All right, two links with asymmetric hems are pull on with high waist seaming, V neckline with front button fastening, short sleeves or sleeveless designed for soft wovens. All right, Mrs. Shell Top with or without pleated neck band and back bow. I'm always here for a bow. So she's got the pleated collar gathered here at the center front, bias bound, pretty straightforward, a little bust dart and a hem. And then the back, oh, I see the neck band, a little bow is sewn in and then you have your keyhole. That's fun. I don't really wear these like silky type tops though. It would look really cute like under a suit like or tucked into like, you know, trousers, but I just, I don't really wear that. But yeah, I guess if it were printed, this one though has a different neckline. I wonder if they have the same bow in the back or if this just buttons, I bet this one just buttons. Hmm. Yeah, just a button there. Yeah, the back bow is cute, how it ties up like that. I just, the fabrication I think would be what holds me back from this one, just because I can't really visualize it. Charmeuse, chiffon, cotton lawn. Yeah, I guess I'm overthinking it. It really doesn't need to be that drapey. So like the chalets and stuff like that would be okay too. But soft cotton blends, crepe de chine, double georgette, lightweight linen, shirting, silky types, and wool. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And then like tuck it into like high-waisted jeans or that's wearable for me. And look, you don't need a lot of fabric at all, even for the one with the bow. So, and then bust measurements are here. And I imagine all the sizes are in one again. Yep, eight to 20, all in one. Pull on with neck, back neck fastening with small stand collar or round neck, both with 
gathers at front neckline. Cute. Ooh, look at this one. Mrs. Top with optional back opening and flared sleeves. Let's take a look at this. So again, you've got that curved front uh, like waist seam, which I've indicated in other videos is really on trend right now. I'm seeing it a lot in ready to wear. This one happens to have some gathering at that point as well. And then these beautiful flare sleeves with baby hems. It looks like maybe a bias finish here. And then beautiful hem. Ooh, you guys know I love something with a little backless situation. That is real cute. So a center back zip. There's a little facing here to finish off this opening. I like this. Here's a short sleeve version. Cute. I like how like from the front, she's like totally covered up all the way to the top and then you turn around and it's like, bam, backless. <laughs> and then view B, you don't, you don't have to put in the little opening if you don't want to. It's kind of like a peplum in the back. So, chambray, charmeuse, chiffon, cotton lawn, cotton tights, crepe, crepe de chine, double georgette, linen blend, shirting, silky types. Yeah, so again, this is going to be one of those where you can use anything light to mid-weight. Um, lighter weight, uh, gosh, I don't know. It's hard to say because you want it to be lightweight and drapey for the sleeves, but you need a little bit of structure to keep this like standing up straight. But maybe you don't mind if it kind of, you know, billows open a little bit. But I think it's adorable. And look, you hardly need any fabric for view B. One and one, is that an eight? No, one and one quarter, one and a quarter yards. And then here are your finished bust measurements. The other thing that's great about New Look is it's under $5. That's not even on sale. That's like regular price. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up getting this one. So cute. High waist seaming with gathered fullness at the bust. View A fastened at the back has elbow length full fluted sleeves and center back cutout. View B is sleeveless with long center back zipper fastening designed for woven fabrics. So cute. All right, now we're getting into my favorite dresses. Dresses in two lengths with sleeve variations. This is pretty. First of all, her hair color, like I dye. So pretty. All right, we've got kind of a pretty wide neck opening with a little keyhole in the front. Beautiful seaming here. Two darts that kind of form a V. You've got a pretty fitted sleeve. And then a skirt. I can't tell if this is a panel. I can't tell what is going on, if this is an overlay or what exactly, but it's pretty. Center back zip, waistband possibly, and then some darts. We'll have to look at the line drawings. So there's the front darts that I showed you. Oh, and look, this pretty sleeve. This is pretty. This is a really pretty dress. Okay, we got all that. What's the back look like? Okay, so not a waistband, just a waist seam and then um, bodice darts. Center back zipper. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this so much. All right. Silky types such as rayon, crepe, double, oh, I have the perfect fabric for this too. Oh, I've got to get it. Okay. Crepe back satin, soft, lightweight linens and linen blends. Finished bust measurements. Yeah, very close fitting. And I wish they would have had the hip measurements too, because this is a pretty close fitting um, hip, but say lovey. And then... Fabric requirements aren't that much. I don't know. I guess this is just like, it must just like cross over a little bit. Like the, this here 
would extend up through and maybe stop here and then the front of the skirt wraps around a little bit to the back so it's kind of like a wrap ish I don't know it's really hard to tell just from those pictures um what did I miss um so yeah because you really don't need that much fabric at all considering how long it is and and everything else it also looks like the long sleeve version is shorter right oh, so hard to tell with this stupid way their website is but yeah I'm thinking a is shorter we'll see if it says two lengths and then you just need one invisible zipper yeah I'm getting this one oops back order oh six to eighteen all in one so annoying expected ship date 419 well that's fine i've got plenty to sew okay empire way seaming i didn't even notice that where'd she go i mean okay yeah all right with front tucks adding fullness at the bust skirts in two lengths have front drape detail short one <laughs> short one long sleeves I think they mean to say there's two versions of sleeves designed for wovens with good drape cute all right now we've got a fun little shirt dress with a flared back does that sound familiar for all my indie girls out there archer or wait alder I always get those two confused. All right, but this one has, okay, a collar stand with a collar, sleeveless, button down, and this belt looks like it goes through the dress. So the belt is actually on the inside in the back, which is a really cute, fun detail. And then kind of like a high-low hem. Here's the back. Oh, and it's even got this little panel. This is way cute. Here, because in the front, it's like completely like cinched in. You've got an hourglass waist, looks great. And in the back, it's full and roomy and comfortable. Here it is without the collar, just a collar band, neck band. And then here's the version she's wearing. It does have side seam pockets. And I'm pretty sure A is missing that little extra seam in the back. That's cute. Yeah, A is just a straight back. Oh, I need this one too. Hopefully it's not back ordered. Okay, chambray, chintz, cotton types, crepe de chine, gingham, lightweight denim, linen blends, poplin and shirtings. Yeah, those like more stable um, wovens. Bust measurements. So you can see how compared to the other one, a little bit more loose fitting this one is. And then your fabric requirements. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Back were Dang. Mrs. Front Fastening Dresses in Two Lengths with a Front Waist Tie. View A is knee length with short sleeves and a small stand collar. View B is sleeveless with small collar and dipped back hem. Designed for crisp wovens is what they're calling it. Crisp. Yeah, that's cute. I would get a lot of wear out of that for sure. And it's also kind of a... All right, now we've got a little fancy dress. A uh, dress with shoulder tie topper. <laughs> a shoulder tie topper. Oh, it is a shoulder tie topper. I see. Okay, so you've got like a little slim fitting dress, maybe with spaghetti straps. And then it's got this overlay that ties uh, at the shoulder. So it's truly a tie topper. That is interesting. Here's the tie topper. 
pretty basic, I'm guessing. I don't know if these are like sewn down or what happens, but, and then here's the dress underneath again, very basic. And then here are the two together. Cute for a wedding, you know? Okay, here's the way the tie topper is drafted. Huh. Ooh, look at these beautiful fisheye darts though. Really pretty. Okay, so for A, they're suggesting crisp cottons, crisp wovens, chintz, cotton blends, crepes, crepe de chine, double georgette, dupioni, lame, sateen, satin, and silky types. So there is the lightweight version as well. Charmeuse, cotton lawn, crepe de chine, georgette, sheer fabric, silky types, and wool for the tie topper. And yes, I'm going to call it that from here on out. <laughs> And then your bust measurements for both garments. Eight to 20 is your size range. Mrs. Slip dress with center back zip and spaghetti straps over top has draped neckline and asymmetrical side shoulder tie. It's pretty. I think the fabrication here is a little bit matronly. You could definitely make make it look a little bit younger um, depending on what fabrics you use. Like imagine that um, like embroidered mesh. That would be really pretty. Or imagine it like in like black, I guess, would be really elegant and really timeless, like any age. This doesn't feel... I think they were trying to make it younger because it's pink, but it really doesn't. Also, it doesn't help that she's like 19. Okay. Now we have this little dress. Uh, fit and flared dress with length and sleeve variations. Look at the sleeve cutouts. <gasps> That's cute. And then princess seams all the way down that flare out into a little skirt. So cute. So cute. It's kind of like 90s-ish, but then you have the cutouts, which make it totally more modern. Cute, right? High neckline, pretty flutter sleeve. Oh, there's all these seams here that I didn't even notice. Also pretty. And here it is without the sleeve. So they just took from where the cutout starts. And instead of adding the sleeve onto this, you just leave it off. And you've got a little, like, um, kind of haltery looking. Here are the line drawings. So pretty. All right, silky types. Do I need to list all these off again? They're the exact same as they were on the others. Lightweight drapey fabrics, um, finished bust measurements, and then, yeah, you need almost three yards of fabric. It just takes so much to create a flared skirt like that, so that makes sense. Plus, I think this one's longer, and this one is already pretty long, and I think B is even longer than that. So check your um, back to neck, back neck, measurements this section if you make any of these new look even the tops seem really long to me so also on back order I mean did they like print five of these or what fitted at bust and hips with flared skirts I don't think it's fitted I mean semi fitted at the hip sleeveless or short fluted sleeves with cut out shoulder detail that's really cute Okay, another shirt dress, uh, an elastic waist, my goodness. Unlike the other big four brands who apparently took stock out in elastic, um, this is the first we've seen. And it's actually really interesting because it's like a double channel and on a shirt dress, which is a little bit unexpected. So they took this really crisp cotton 
And they're kind of sporting it up a little bit with the wooden buttons and the elastic, the collar without the um, stand. Here's the back. Then we have a sleeveless version. Super cute. This will be adorable in Seersucker. And then here's the version she was wearing. Here's the envelope. Here's the line drawings. Cute, right? I bet it would be pretty cute too if you didn't add the elastic and just had a straight situation happening. Pockets. Chalet, chambray, chino, cotton type, crepe sheen, gingham, lightweight denim, linen blends, poplin shirtings. Yeah, all those light to midweight wovens. And then, yeah, not that much fabric. B has, must just be really long. And probably, be, I don't know if there's a seam there, like a waist seam or not to cut it up or if it's all cut on one panel. I'm not sure, but also cute. I'm liking a lot of these. Mrs. Knit Dress with sleeve and length variations. Okay, it's a knit shirt dress with a little tie thing happening. So think of, for the indie girls, like a Nico dress with this little tie and sleeves and no mock turtleneck. <laughs> but it has the long slim um, line and then the side slit. Oh, but this one has fisheye darts also, which are really beautiful. Yep. And then that's it without the slit and a shorter hem and also missing the little tie, this thing. Yeah, I was gonna suggest rib knits. That's a really great option. Cute just for knits. Here are the line drawings. We'll go back to that one. I just love those fisheye darts. Although I don't know that I've seen fisheye darts in knits very often because you would think that that would just be handled. I don't know. I'm here for it either way. I love fisheye darts no matter what fabric it is. Okay, size for stretch knits only. Um, it doesn't say the stretch percentage which is kind of annoying. Uh, I was looking on the edges to see if it was there, but interlock, jacquard, jersey, ITY, rib knit, single knit. So I don't know, it's hard to say because some of these can have like 100%, like rib knit has like 100% stretch. I guess all of these are pretty stretchy though. So no double brush poly. It would have to be like stretchy, stretchy t-shirt material. Um, bust measurements, fabric requirements. Oh, and then they're telling you to get some clear wide elastic. I think that must be one whole package. My goodness, maybe the neck band. Ten to twenty-two on the size range. Two lengths, easy to sew. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Pull on dress with optional waist tie feature. Short sleeves into length options. Okay. Oh, is that it? Yes, these are all the kids. Okay, and like I was telling you, Berta Style has some new ones, so I'll be back with those. But overall, a pretty good collection. I loved almost all of the dresses. Um, some of them I don't know that I need, but... This is definitely a want. I would get this. If someone gave me that, I wouldn't not make it. I loved this one. This one was really pretty too. And then love this top, love this top, love the skirt, love the jumpsuit. You guys, there's a lot of really good stuff here. So I'll wait for some of that to come back in stock and place my order. But let me know what you guys think 
of New Look's new spring collection. And that's going to do it for me today, but I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.